So far, we've only been studying the case of perfect competition. in which the firm thought it couldn't affect price. So dollars per bushel versus quantity. Price equal demand equal average revenue and equal marginal revenue. Now the reason why I write that the price equals demand is because the firm perceives the demand curve for its product as being flat. The firm has a belief that regardless of what output it generates, it, you know, being a really small firm in a really big market, is not going to have any effect on the price. Now, you know that real demand curves don't look like that. Real demand curves are limited by consumers' budget constraints, and so they can't go out to a quantity of infinity. But the competitive firm doesn't know the truth. The competitive firm instead has the belief that the demand curve he faces is flat. And it's going to turn out that in equilibrium he never finds out anything different. So it's a counterfactual belief that the firm has that the demand curve is flat. We now want to consider imperfect competition. In imperfect competition, the firm knows what the real demand curve looks like. And therefore, it acts like it sees a downward sloping demand curve. Now, what the precise shape is, who knows? Well, maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's that. We don't know whether it's linear, concave, convex, has a whole bunch of curves, it doesn't really matter at this point. But uh, I want to discuss what this implies for average revenue and marginal revenue, and for that matter even for total revenue. For competition, remember total revenue is really simple. For competition, total revenue just looked like that. It was a straight line coming from the origin. So how about imperfect competition? Well, the first result is going to be such an important one, I'm going to type it up. The demand curve is always equal to the average revenue curve. The word always means, I don't care if you're talking about competition or imperfect competition. The demand curve is always equal to the average revenue curve. Let's see why. So you got some demand curve. And suppose that at a price of $2 a bushel, you're demanding 10 bushels. Let's work out total revenue. Well, total revenue is $2 a bushel times 10 bushels, so it's $20. Average revenue is how much money you're making on average for the 20 bushels. It's total revenue divided by quantity. Well, total revenue is $20. Quantity is 10 bushels, so it's $2 per bushel, which is the same as the point of the demand curve. So the demand curve always tells you what the average revenue is. Therefore, in the imperfect competition graph, I can label demand equal to average revenue, because demand is always equal to average revenue. Now that's true in competition as well. Demand equals average revenue. Now let's go back to imperfect competition, trying to get marginal revenue. Remember the rule that if average is falling, marginal is below it. So average is falling here, average revenue is falling under imperfect competition. So marginal is below it. That tells you where marginal revenue is. Now, 
Margin revenue might be rising, might be falling or rising. You don't really know what it's doing. I just drew it pretty weird. It's not going to be that weird in general. But margin revenue is definitely going to be below average revenue, so below the demand curve. What would total revenue look like? Let me draw the this demand curve again. Again, we're we're just talking about imperfect competition now. So this is average revenue. What what about total revenue? Total revenue is measured in dollars. Well, if QE is equal to zero, total revenue is price times quantity. If Q is zero, then of course total revenue is zero. So total revenue starts here. If you don't sell anything, your customers never give you any money. At this point, price is zero. So total revenue is price times quantity. If price is zero, total revenue is zero. In between, both price and quantity are greater than zero, and so you have something that's positive. I don't know exactly what it looks like, but some kind of some kind of shape like that. So that's what total revenue, average revenue, and marginal revenue look like with imperfect competition. We already knew what they look like with perfect competition. Total revenue, average revenue, marginal revenue, price and demand. Now we know what they look like for imperfect competition.